In this video, we're going to talk about critical section and atomic operation. In the previous video, we used this increment counter program to demonstrate the synchronization problems that we are potentially going to run into when we have multi threads running in our program. So this increment counter function are being called in separate threads. And you have seen that what is really causing the problem is about this area. What is special about these two lines of code? These two lines of code are accessing the shared resource, which is the counter variable. So if we look at our program again, we are dealing with the counter. Basically, this counter equals counter plus one. When the compiler compiles it, it's actually separated into two different lines, right? this one and this one. And they're both accessing the counter variable, which is defined outside of the thread. It's unlike this integer i, this is defined inside the thread so even though multiple threads are being used here, each one instantiate the i variable separately in their own space, whereas the counter is the shared resource. Therefore, this section that access the shared resource becomes critical, and we call this critical section. That's the concept of critical section. And then we're going to move on to the next concept, which is atomic operation. But what is really causing the problem within the critical section is that this particular line of code is divisible. It's actually two lines of code. But imagine that if this line of code cannot be divided into two, right? it's indivisible, then there's going to be no problem. So if these two lines of code, let me highlight it. If the code within the critical section is being executed as one step instead of multiple steps, then even though we're using different threads to execute the code, let's say thread number one execute first, the counter one will be increased by one. And then when thread number two executed, the counter value will be based on the new counter value instead of the old counter value, right? So in the previous video, we were saying that the counter is sitting at 1000. So in this case, if this thread scheduler favors thread number one, and the code inside the critical section is being executed as one step instead of multiple steps, then thread number one will increment the counter value from 1000 to 1001. And then when it's the second thread's turn to increment the counter, it will see that the counter value is sitting at 1001. Therefore, it's going to increment it again and becomes 1002. So there's no problem whatsoever if the code within the critical section is running as indivisible step, there's just one step instead of multiple, then there's no problem. The problem is really that, first of all, we have a critical section, which means that shared resources are being accessed within multiple threads. Secondly, the operation within the critical section is not atomic, it's divisible, because the definition of an atomic operation is that the operation itself is indivisible. It cannot be divided into multiple steps. It's always going to be executed as one step. If the operation within the critical section is not atomic, then in that case, we are going to run into synchronization problems. And what we need to do is to find a technique to make divisible code within the critical section indivisible. And that is what we are going to cover in the rest of this section. And that's everything I want to talk about in this video. Any questions, please let me know. If not, I will see you in the next one.